In European folklore, a werewolf is defined as a human who possesses the ability to transform into a wolf-like creature. The legend of the werewolf dates back over 2,000 years. Myths and stories of werewolves can be found in every culture throughout Europe. Greek stories of men turning into wolves date as far back as 460 BC. It was in the Middle Ages that tales of werewolves became widespread throughout the continent. England, France, Germany, and Russia have produced numerous accounts of the legendary beast. The spread of European culture to the New World brought the legend of the werewolves to America. In the 20th century, Hollywood horror films kept the legend alive. Although what is depicted by Hollywood in movies and television is purely fiction, is it possible that a werewolf-type monster is actually real? In the Great Lakes region of the United States, there is said to exist just such a creature. In today's episode, we look into the mysterious and terrifying Michigan Dogman. first recorded account of the Michigan Dogman occurred in Wexford County, Michigan in 1887. Two lumberjacks reported seeing a tall, bipedal creature covered in hair with the head of a dog and the body of a man. In 1937, Robert Fortney was camping next to the Muskegon River near the town of Paris, Michigan. On the second day of his camping trip, Fortney decided to go fishing at the river. As he was setting up his gear, Fortney spotted a group of wild dogs walking along the bank about 150 yards away. Fortney was not too concerned as he had brought his 22 caliber rifle with him. After several minutes, the dogs had turned and started walking towards him. Fortney pulled out his rifle and squeezed off three rounds over the dogs' heads to scare them off. All but one huge black dog ran off into the woods. This dog stopped and stared at Fortney with almost a defiant look on its face. Fortney kept his rifle trained on the large black dog and what happened next left Fortney in disbelief. The huge black dog stood up on two legs and stared directly into his eyes. The dog stood there for a minute and turned and walked away on two legs. Until the day he died, Robert Fortney said that the huge black dog smiled at him before it turned and walked away. In 1961, a night watchman working in Big Rapids, Michigan snapped this photo. The picture has never been explained, but is said to be an image of the Michigan Dogman. Many similar accounts have been reported in the neighboring states of Wisconsin and Illinois. In the state of Wisconsin, the creature is often referred to as the Beast of Bray Road. In 2006, Steve Kruger was working for the Wisconsin Department of Highways. His job was to pick up animal carcasses along the sides of the roads. One evening, Steve came across a deer carcass which was lying along the side of Bray Road. He picked up the deer and placed it on the tailgate of his pickup. As he was sitting in the cab of his truck filling out the paperwork, Steve felt the truck shaking. At first, he thought it was the wind and ignored it. 
But when the truck shook again, Steve turned to look into the bed of his truck and he could not believe his eyes. Standing in the bed of the pickup was a huge creature, around seven feet tall, with the head of a wolf and the hair-covered body of a man. The creature was interested in the gear carcass, but when Steve turned his flashlight on the creature, it turned its head and looked directly at Steve. At this point, Steve panicked and drove off as fast as he could, allowing the deer carcass and the creature to roll out the back of the pickup. Defense attorney Terry Williams once stated that a former district attorney of Walworth County confided in him that the former DA had witnessed seeing the creature while driving alone on Bray Road. One witness claimed that while driving on Bray Road one foggy night, she reportedly struck something with her car as it crossed the road. When she got out of the car to see what she had hit, the witness reported that a large wolf-like creature with red eyes chased her back into the car. She quickly drove off as the creature left claw marks and scratches on the side of her vehicle. A witness driving on Bray Road during daylight hours reported seeing the creature giving chase to a deer. Upon examining the area of the sighting, large wolf-like footprints were found. Another witness reported that while driving down Bray Road one night, he observed a large wolf-like creature eating a deer which had been struck by a car on the side of the road. The creature reportedly ran off into the woods as his car approached. Existence of the Dogman was not well known outside of the Michigan area until Steve Cook, who was working as a disc jockey at radio station WTCM in Traverse City, Michigan, recorded a song titled The Legend. The song was based on myths and legends from across North America, including the Michigan Dogman. After airing the song, the station received hundreds of calls from people claiming to have witnessed the creature. In 2007, Steve Cook claimed that a video copy of an 8mm film was sent to him at the radio station by an anonymous listener. The listener claims to have found this 8mm film at an estate sale near his home in the Lower Peninsula area of Michigan. The film was contained in a metal canister labeled Gable Case, number MP041177-1. The film has since been known as the Gable Film. Some have claimed that this video confirms the existence of the Michigan Dogman. This three and a half minute grainy video starts out rather mundane with scenes of a man riding a snowmobile, shots of a dog, and a man chopping wood. At the end of the video, however, a canine-like creature can be seen charging the camera. Although the film appears to show compelling evidence towards the existence of the Michigan Dogman, it has since been discovered to be a hoax. Nonetheless, the video has sparked conversation on the subject and did a great deal to advance awareness on stories surrounding this topic. Is it possible that the Michigan Dogman is real? Or could there be another explanation? Could this be a case of misidentification? Possibly a bear or a large wolf mistaken to be the Dogman? Or could this all be a hoax? If this were a hoax, then a very elaborate one it would have to be since sightings of the creature date back over 130 years. Whether real or not, there is one thing for certain, there is something strange happening in the state of Michigan.